inside it. You're talking about divergence and stuff. It's, you, yeah, you just you fall back into it. Um, congratulations. Always great to see you. Thank and, you. Uh, you know, wow. This was a really great installment, and I was saying to everybody, um, it, it must have been easy to slip back into it, but for a lot of them, their characters go into a different phase, so it was a little bit different for you, not so much, but was it easy to slip back into Peter? It was a lot, yeah, it was a lot of fun. I mean, as soon as, because I was filming Fantastic Four at yeah. the same time, so whenever you're, you know, kind of working on something else, you come back, and especially, you know, with this, it's the first time I've revisited a character. But yeah, as soon as they start doing the hair like Peter and, you're talking about divergence and stuff. It's you, yeah. You just you fall back into it. You get back into that that mode. Yeah. And I have to say, Miles, come on. How much fun is it to play a bad guy, a bully? Really? <laughs> it's, it's cool. I mean, especially in a movie like this where there's not a lot of levity. I think Peter is an integral part of that. Just in terms of like a, you know, as an audience member, you need a release valve at some point. And I think the way the writers crafted Peter is that he does become you know, a little more of the comic relief and he, he kind of lightens the mood a lot, yeah. which is important. Yeah, but then, you know, you're picking on poor Shailene, probably one She's of the... She's not that. Look at her triceps. Yeah. I think she can okay. defend herself. Good point, good point. But she is one of the sweetest girls ever. And, yeah, you know, she's it's got to be... I mean, how do you keep a set like that, keep it light and, you know... It's just fun. I mean, the more comfortable you're with somebody, the more that you can kind of pick on them. You know how it goes, like, your best friends the ones that... You know, you can, you know, the friends and family, those are the people that are really, you know, messing with you and stuff and, and, and can just, it's just no BS, they can just speak honestly to you. So with Shay, I think we're, we're pretty good at keeping each other in check and, and so it's fun. Yeah, good stuff. To say the least, you know, when I saw Whiplash at the Toronto Film Festival, man, oh God, one of my favorite films, hands down. You were so brilliant Thank in that. You. And I, you know, your life has just been nonstop ever yeah. since. Like, how are yeah. you handling all of this, Miles? I mean, it's, it's great because you get to a point where you can kind of, now it's like I, I can do the scripts that I really want to do that maybe, you know, I was a little too young for or there's, you know, a bunch of actors ahead of me and there's still, you know, actors that are going to be ahead of you, but there's directors that now really want to work with you. And I think that always creates for the, the best work when you have, you know, a director really seeking out a, an actor, an actor um, specifically in just them because they see them only in that role. And that's how it was with this when the producers offered me Peter, and that's how it was with Whiplash. Damien always had me in mind, and and I think that just right off the bat, there's there's that kind of you know respect there and, and the wanting to to work together, which yeah. is good. Damien told me that he wants to do another film with you uh, where you play jazz pianist. Is that going to happen? Yeah, yeah, I think so. I mean, that's the uh, that's the idea. Do your talents that. never cease to amaze us? Never. Like, what else can I you mean, do that we don't know? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. It'll be amazing to see yeah. you grow, my friend, and Fantastic Four. I cannot wait for. Yeah, thank, you and me both. Yeah, thank you so much, and best of luck with this. You're, you're terrific as always. Thank you. Thank you so much.